you haven't seen my first video about this bike, you might want to go back and watch it. Basically, it's been lowered by three centimeters and I have the low comfort seat on it. I can ride all day with this motorbike and with this seat and I really feel like it's really comfortable. I can move around, forward, backward, standing position is really great. <laughs> If I were only allowed to use one word to describe this motorbike, it would be smooth. Riding off-road and single trails, I still have a lot of respect. When it falls uphill or only to its flat side, it's a little bit different than if it falls downhill because then I would be in trouble. All on my own, I couldn't get it up. I've been scratching the tarmac with my central stand, which is not so good. And I took off the center stand now. Now the temperatures got warmer, I feel more confident with the rubber on the thermac and so I started to scratch also the foot pegs. That's also possible. But it takes quite a lot of lean. Occasionally I have to strap down my big paraglider bag. For that reason I chose a rack system with soft panniers. Unmounting the system is really easy. One, two, and then if I want to take the whole system off, turn here, one, three, four, that comes off, one, two, three, and that comes off. There you go. And then putting it back together, match up. Mounting it is easy. And then this side match it fix this side match it and fix. That's it. So I'm measuring these bags. When they're Fully bloated, I would say, from here to here. That's pretty much 97 centimeters. And from here to here, it's also exactly 97 centimeters. Pretty good. And the bags, they open quite well. Here, open this. Zipper in here with a pocket. And then you open this and then there's inside plenty of space. I like this for commuting because I can just throw everything inside. And here on the outside, another water zipper to put something inside. And then you can throw maybe uh, something wet inside here. And then all these fits together also with the rear luggage rack brackets. A little downside is that this bracket gets mounted onto the foot pack. I'm going to get some spacers that fit into here so I can take this off. This bike is rolling off and I got my foot cut in underneath here. That's so nice. So I'm going to take this off. This is here, it fits in your way. Right? So we got some spacers to put in here, just something from the 
local shop and three two one here we go easy fix huh i'm not sure if it's the algorithms of google that are giving me this fw motec stuff or if there's just not a lot of other stuff available on the market but i ended up with the hand guards in a package with uh, these crash bars and the plate down here and the good thing is this stuff fits together because i was commuting i had to ride a lot of highways lately and the buffeting got on my nerves so i mounted this deflector that i had laying around anyway and i noticed that i was wearing a helmet with a visor and the buffeting was really strong then i took my motocross helmet and funnily enough the buffeting is much less on this sometimes it depends also on the helmet and not only on the windshield this way with the motocross helmet i'm really happy with it even though when i'm riding i can see i look through the deflector but it doesn't annoy me at all and if i don't want to have it anymore i just open it up and i push it down and then it's out of my way and here i have the garmin mounted and by coincidence it's also sw motec what's interesting is that this little bar here there is some movement in here but i noticed it's not even that bad because when i'm sitting i can move the garmin in this direction and when i'm standing i move it up a little bit and i have an, a better angle so it's not even that bad and it doesn't really move around or shake around so it's pretty sturdy <laughs> If I switch off traction control, I can get it to wheelie in first gear. In second, I struggle. And the tank full or empty makes a big difference as well. Also, I'm missing a hydraulic clutch, which would also come in handy when having to slip it in tight turns or technical terrain. At this point, I have to mention that the turning radius can only be beaten by a trial spike. The stock tires quickly hit the limit when it gets wet off-road. Here we're getting new tires put on. These have definitely much more off-road capability. The STR means STR means street, the score, so it's it is meant for the street. As soon as it gets wet. It's quite slippery. I'm gonna try this one out. They already have really good experience with the Heidenau, but with the Scout, and this is the Ranger, the new tire for a little more off-road oriented. And then this is the front tire. I switch back and forth between a Husqvarna 701 Supermoto and this bike and I must say this standing position on this bike is superb like it's much better than the Husqvarna I have much more leg space too and while I'm comparing these two bikes I must also say that the quick shifter that I got mounted works okay on the upshift but on the downshift it, it's 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 not very refined if i uh, go on the husqvarna again then that's like a world apart the husqvarna is much more smooth and and much more clear i do switch between the riding modes and what i like a lot is that when i switch it off and i switch it on everything is the same also ABS, traction control, if I switched it off in the riding mode, then it's off, so I don't have to 
fool around with that. Basically, it's just one button. I have four different riding modes and it works perfectly. So far, I've done 6,000 kilometers and I have not had any issues yet. So you can see, I still love the bike.